it's really good. Tuna, cucumber, olives, and some mayo is the perfect sandwich you can make. Hmm. Right, that's my lunch done. Let's start the video. So Porsche released their 2020 version of Porsche Taycan a couple of months earlier. And since, to be honest, it's a really exciting car, they decided to unveil it again and again in different parts of the country. So in the UK, so far, I think they did three or four events, one in London, one in Scotland somewhere, and one in Manchester. And me being A, in Manchester, B, a photographer, and C, a car enthusiast, I tried to get into it. And guess what? It was as easy as just going onto the internet and clicking a few buttons. So anyway, I managed to get two passes, one for me and one for someone else to tag along. So I rang up my mate, Damien Clegg, who is a part-time photographer. Link for his Instagram will be down below if you want to check him out. He's a part-time photographer. He does all kinds of photography yet. But yeah, he was super nice. And he said yes he will tag along with me and yeah we just turned up to media city at 10. also a quick note if you haven't seen me in this world of internet before uh, my name is zohaib i do photography and filmmaking content on this channel i used to do tech reviews like i don't know harman card and speaker review that i did ages ago but now i left all that world behind and i moved on to photography and filmmaking and if you're interested in them then make sure you go down below and subscribe and yeah let's just get on with the video By the way, this is Damien. Damien, say hi. Follow him on Damien.Clegg on Instagram. Right, out of all these six cars, my favorite is this Porsche down here. Why? Well, first of all, the design, it's absolutely amazing. And secondly, it's a Porsche and, well, you just gotta love Porsche. I mean, why wouldn't you fall in love with that thing? This charger meant to be the fastest one in the world. Firstly, Tesla came out with their supercharged charger, and then now Porsche releasing their. Apparently, it can do not 200% in about 22 minutes, something like that, which is impressive because knowing to electric cars nowadays, it takes a lot of time to charge one to full 100%. manual. We have no drawings of it. We don't know how much it weighs. Can't time it on the track. Ask 10 of our engineers about it and get 10 different answers. But there's no debate about its existence. After just one day behind the wheel, it's the most valuable part of the car. The irreplaceable component the thing you love more and more with every passing mile. The thing you instantly miss in any other car. The soul. For reasons mysterious and many, every Porsche ever built has one. And always will. The new Porsche Taycan. Soul Electrified.
we now invite you onto the show floor to discover the Porsche Taycan up close and capture your perfect shot of Soul Electrified. Too small. Nope, too small. One second. There you go. Oh. Got this beauty. Right, so all screen, not bad. And the best thing I like about this is the like ring with light. And as you can tell, I'm really happy. Oh my god. It's like heaven to me right now. In Porsche. Right, let's do some photos. Ooh. Awesome. I especially like this uh, entertainment system. Hey, no. You're finding them a lot on the new cars nowadays, uh, especially Land Rovers and all that. You've got all this display, dashboards and all that. And as a, you know, luxurious thing, you get an analog clock down there with the digital, of course, as well. Done. All right, let's go. There's one particular shot I want to get, like, it's down there. Uh, hopefully I get the, I've got a wider lens and I can shoot from here. Well, when I mean wider lens, I mean my 40mm will do hopefully because that's the only lens I've got. This is where I feel like I need better gears, like... Even, I've got a good gimbal though, but I need to set it up every time I want to use it or not. Because like my camera doesn't have a stabiliser built in, so I have to use an actual gimbal for general B-roll shots. Love should be easy, why should it not? When all you want is to be loved, is to be loved But love ain't easy, you taught me that That was absolutely fun. I mean, I enjoyed every second of it but I ended up feeling like I needed more time inside because there were just so many people and I just couldn't get the right type of shot that I wanted. And also bear in mind, I was filming and taking photos at the same time. I didn't have anyone else filming me despite having Damien on the side, but he was doing his photography. So I just tried to do both things on my own and it didn't really end up going well since I didn't manage to take as many photos. And talking about amount of photos, I've taken 250-ish photos and guess how many I used out of them? A, 30. B, 40, C, 70, and D, 90. And the answer is 40. Uh, I don't remember what letter I used. Yeah, that. So by the way, because there's about 40 photos, I'm not gonna show you or review each individual photo. I'm just gonna go through in batches. And also bear in mind, I used two separate presets for these photos. For the first 29, I used this aqua color. And for the second one, I used this golden classic one that would end up giving some classic feeling to these photos. And obviously I used that presets on the old cars because the new one, it just it wouldn't just look right. So first of all, the first batch from outside, uh, these photos were actually really good in my opinion. They're really contrasty, especially the GT4. It's really yellow. I, I just love it. And even the red car in this case, it's it's super nice, contrasting that to the light aqua color. And overall, the outdoor shots I'm really happy with. It's just because the presets I used and the color of the cars making it really pop out. Now, next up, all the shots from the inside of Porsche Taycan and that car that was broken into pieces that was that was made out of I don't know more just some really odd material. Anyway, the issue was there was too many people to take photos of the car openly, so I ended up getting about 10 photos that were actually good enough and in my opinion these were the best photo from the day why you may ask well you see they were all simple you know black overall image and just car popping out from the middle the modern and simple style of photography is what attracts me personally and therefore these were the best photos from the day in my opinion and next up the golden preset that I used now these photos in my opinion are typical photos of an old car you know the golden feeling overall of the image makes it look like antique and that's what normally photographers use in my opinion and then Therefore, they weren't something special, but still, I'm really happy with the way they turned out. So overall, was it a good photo shoot? No, because I know I could have done it better if I had less people and more time. And secondly, my gimbal was actually really annoying on the day. It was too dark for me to set it up properly, so it kept on spazzing out of, out of the blue and ruining most of the shots. So therefore, you've probably seen all those B-roll, they might be a bit shaky, because I took them handheld and my camera doesn't have a stabilizer built in. So yeah, therefore, forgive me on that one. But yeah, overall, I needed at least half an hour more and less people in the crowd. Now, photo of the day. <laughs> 
This one is actually really tough because I actually like all of them. I'm not gonna lie, there's not a single photo that I hate, but the best one out of all, I think it's this one. Why? Well, you see the simplicity of the image, you know, black coverall and just the car's backlight. It's it's amazing. I, I genuinely love this. And especially the Taycan is in focus. I don't know, I, I, I'm, I'm in love with this photo. And if I did like second position in photo of the day, I would give this photo because it's, it's more simpler than before. In fact, I love this photo so much that it's a wallpaper not on my phone for like the past week. So it's definitely a good photo. So yeah guys, that was today's video. I really enjoyed the day. I could have done better, as I said before. And overall, I, all I'm gonna say to you guys, if you find these little opportunities, even if it's like, I don't know, or something as big as Ferrari or something as small as Vauxhall, or I don't know, a chair company is doing a showcase, definitely do go there only because you never know you might be able to get the best shots that you ever taken on that day and that might look really really good on your portfolio and also the more practice you do the better you'll become in photography therefore i'll highly suggest you to, 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 to try to go online to try these little opportunities and make yourself a better photographer so yeah that was all from today if you like this video make sure you go down below and leave a like and if you want to suggest me any video ideas or want to ask a question then go down below leave it in the comment i'll try my best to answer you back even though i get three or four comments but yeah i'll, I'll definitely answer you back because it's not that like i've gained thousands of comments am i anyway i shall see you in the next one don't forget to subscribe goodbye nice